this new Angels and Airways album. Uh, let me start off by saying this, I do not think this is a bad album, and I feel I must address that. However, do I think it's a good album? <laughs> not a chance in hell. <laughs> well, actually, I do think it's a good album, I just don't think it's a great album. I think it's an album that has room for improvement, but a lot of it. First of all, Tom DeLonge can't sing for shit. He used to be able to sing at least a little bit, like it was tolerable in Blink-182 stuff, but now he just can't, and it's annoying, quite frankly. Second of all, I have issues judging this album because I, I'll always judge it against a Blink-182 album. Just because Tom DeLonge... Yeah. However, there are some good cuts on this thing. I like Euphoria. It's very emotive. It has a decent guitar. It has an amazing bass. It's great. Um, I like Losing My Mind. It has a melodic instrumental. And a great chorus. Which is like... Here, let me just real quick pull it up. Which is, the chorus is, I live on the edge, I must be losing my mind. I get out of my head, it's now a scene of a crime. The world is on fire, and I am ice. I can't balance things lately, I think we're gonna die. Must be losing my mind. It's, it's a great chorus. I love that song. I love Rest of the Souls, also another good song. Um, it has an amazing guitar, it's really catchy, and it has a great instrumental. And I'd like to point out, the guitars are almost always on point here. It, it, it Almost always. Not always, but almost always. Automatic, another good song. I like this one. It's, it has a nice instrumental, it's more of a toe-tapper than anything, but I'm okay with that. And it's catchy as hell. I mean, she likes to dream, I can see it in her eyes. She's on automatic at 17, only once. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do that again. Um, but however, for every one of those, you get a Spellbound, a No More Guns, a Rebel Girl, a Fire in a Nameless Town. You get all of those, and they suck. <laughs> Fire in a Nameless Town is a hip-hop beat, and it's very bland. Rebel Girl, it's too poppy, and it doesn't work, and Tom relies way too much on his singing, which he doesn't have. Spellbound, it's an electronic, and one of the lines is, like, having sex while on fire. It's also not emotive. I don't feel anything while listening to it. No More Guns, it has a terrible guitar, and it's about gun control, but not in the Eminem type way, where it's like, sort of trying to raise awareness for the issue, it's just, uh, cool, gun control. I would like to point out the opening cut, uh, Time Bomb, which might be the most interesting song. We start with a weird auto-tune instrumental, um, till the end of the first minute. And it's about helping someone through suicide. However, the chorus is, Hey there, little sad girl, I really want to hold you. Your time is like a, your heart is like a time bomb and it's going to start to kill you. But in such a very sad world, there are still things to discover. It's possible to hang on because your story isn't over. Now, if I were to walk on, up to you on the street and go, Hey there, sad girl. What? Like, <sighs> doesn't work that well <laughs> i don't even have that many thoughts to say on this thing it's just that bland i think it i like it but what does that even mean it's just existing in its own little time realm i'm feeling the lightest of sixes i can put on this thing thanks for watching peace